you can see, this is Fahrenheit, or in America, Indigo Prophecy. This is uh, originally a, I don't know, PlayStation 2 possibly game, maybe PlayStation 3. Um, it's by a French development company. Uh, the game they, they did before that was called Omicron, and the game they did after is um, Heavy Rain, which is uh, a relatively famous, I don't know what you'd call it, art game. It's, it's, you know, it was a console game, it did reasonably well. Uh, but the guy, the guy that uh, runs this studio, um, is trying to create cinematic experiences in video games that, you know, generate emotion. Now I'm going to see if I just, um, let's turn the sound down a bit. There we go. So, so a new game is actually called a New Movie, so you can see that's, uh, let's do the tutorial for now. So this is a remastered version of the uh, console original. Hi, my name is David Cage. I'm the writer and director of Fire Night. I just thought there's a few things you should know before you get started. I'd like you to meet my friend Bob. You'll be controlling him while you're learning. But let's begin with something simple. Move toward the mark on the floor. Uh, analog stick. Let's try that. Ah, so the controller works. Plus size one. Hold down the A button. Perfect. Now you know how to move about. You're also going to have to be able to observe your environment. To do so, you'll have direct control of the cameras. Come on, give it a try. Oh, the Ah, oh, I see. Cool. You can also look around you and see exactly what you want to see. That works as well. But you won't be just looking around you in Fire Night. You'll also have to interact with your environment. Go to the door. I'm going to the door. Do you see the symbol at the top of the screen? Yes. It indicates the movement you have to make to execute the action. Do it slowly to really feel you're controlling your character's hand. Go ahead. Can't get this at all. Right. Oh, hang on. Oh, uh, you know what the problem was? I was That's using cool. the left analog stick so I can watch it. About, use the cameras and interact with the environment. We can move on to more serious stuff. Finite has action sequences where your character's life will be in danger. I'd better explain this to you before you find yourself on your own. Going to the rib store. When this symbol appears at the top of the screen, it means your character is gonna have to make a physical effort. You'll see, you'll be exhausted too. Uh, was that it? Hey, not bad. Now for something a bit more difficult. You're gonna find yourself facing all kinds of dangers in Fahrenheit. 
You're gonna need a cool head and good reflexes if you want to survive. Let's see how it works. Okay. It's very like the Telltale Games type thing. Oh, see. That's what can happen if you don't have good reflexes. Try again. Okay, I see you've got the hang of it. Now we can move on to something else. You can also choose what you want to say in dialogues in Fahrenheit. Let's give it a try. Um, what do you think of my friend Bob? Friend Bob, okay. That's hey Bob, nice. did you hear that? Right, I see you've got the hang of the dialogues. In Fahrenheit, you'll only have a limited amount of time to make up your mind. So you'd better think fast. Now, let's talk about your mental health. In Fahrenheit, your actions modify the psychological state of your character. Each time it changes, the symbol will appear on screen. Take care of your character, otherwise you may fall into depression, madness, or even commit suicide. Oh, I nearly forgot something important. In Fahrenheit, you'll be able to control all the main characters. Be careful. Your every action will have consequences for the story. A word of advice? think before you act. That's it. I've told you everything I know. Or nearly everything. There are still lots of things to discover, but I'll leave you the surprise of finding them for yourself. Now it's up to you to play. And be careful. You're entering a world where anything can happen. Okay, so that was the intro. Uh, as I said, this is remastered. So, uh, all the textures have been redone uh, in high res versions so that uh, they will look good on modern HD displays. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. So I'm not sure if this is a good time to talk. Are we going to get some more story? Oh, here we go. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard Destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos. So you can see there is a very cinematic presentation. Uh, aquatic, quantic dreams, is what they're called. They're also famous for their use of motion capture of real actors to uh, make make the characters in the game look realistic. And the reason I know all of this stuff is because Because just the other week, I was reading a book called Generation Xbox, How Video Games Invaded Hollywood by Jamie Russell. Which I got in a story bundle. Ah. And Quatic Dreams were... Basically, the final chapter.
to do something at any point. Seems like this character is possessed. Gotta get out of here before somebody comes in here. Okay. before the police get here. Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. All right, I think I'm actually heading back to the diner now. So the controls are a little confusing. I'm trying to run away. I live too far away to walk. I have to find another way to get back home. Uh, taxi. There we go. So. pause the game yes I can so yes I just want to read you a quote from uh, from the developer uh, what was his name David David Cage who uh, was doing the introduction there um, uh, it's talking about well, I don't know if it was this game or his previous game. Says, I have no interest in blowing things up just for the sake of it. I need to understand, I need to feel something. It's all about meanings and emotions. I think these are the two main parameters that are really neglected by most games today. What do games have to say? The most interesting movies are the ones that convey something. An idea, a vision, a feeling. But when they don't convey anything, they're usually just boring. This is what most video games do today. They are totally empty. Which, of course, is a point of view. I don't know that I completely agree with it. I don't know if he's going too far the other way here. No. So there's a one-eyed man. There was a raven. Some fairly obvious Norse symbiology going on there. So yeah, this is the game. If you uh, had it back in the day, it might be quite interesting. I'm going to leave the video there. Dark's diner. That's it. 
Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. Thanks, so you the text has been remastered. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. Yeah, it's just a live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue or cold or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling we got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time something was different. So yeah, I'll leave it there. Let's see yeah, what, what, what I was saying has been remastered but it's not uh, I don't think they've increased the polygon count in the models or anything they've just cleaned up the textures there's no modern lighting um, still I'm very interested to play this game just just for the, you know, the role of Quatic Dreams in Quatic, Quantic, I still don't know in, uh, in video game history just to see what it's all about I stop. Yes. Oh, I've got my ass. Alright. So that's it. You've seen the game. See what it's like. It's available on Steam right now.